in this tutorial we will be seeing how to create a 3d nut so we will be creating a m24 size nut so at first you have to draw polygon just say polygon then number of side 6 center point of polygon click center point then select circumscribed then specify radius so m24 that is radius will be 12 just double click the roller I don't want this x y in between so I will just say use this icon no region so it is shifted then change your workspace to 3d modeling then I don't want this so I will just close then I will switch to southeast isometric view to southeast isometric then I press pull this shape by height of 12 give the direction upward and extrude it by 12 then I have to cut the corners so for that uh, I have to change the UCS so move to view click on view tab then select 3 point UCS here 3 point now I have to create UCS aligned to this uh, this plane internal plane so I will just click the original origin point is this then bottom end point so it's just orbit ok but this is my x axis direction this is my y, di y axis direction so my UCS is aligned to that plane now I will just create a triangle there using polyline command so I will come back to home select polyline then just click on the end just drag the point click first point click second point I will just zoom then go down suppose I will go go down by 1.3 then connect to the starting point so this triangle I have created enter ok that line didn't came properly so I will just create it again polyline just I will just dra track the point in 90 degree ok so it is around 2.7 then I will make orthon effect and I will go down by suppose 1 then I will connect this end, po end point so it is connected then I will create a middle line so that I can revolve it around that so I will just create one line here from mid to mid to catch that mid then one line from this mid to this mid at the bottom also I will same way create a middle line from mid to mid I will make ortho of from mid to mid so those two points are created now I will just draw a line connecting intersection of this to the intersection of this intersection of this ok now I will revolve this triangle around this line I will just erase these unwanted lines then I will say revolve click on arrow between the extrude revolve select the triangle enter give the first axis point second axis point and I have to revolve in 360 degree just give 360 and revolve so this top portion is revolved now I want this portion to be on the bottom also so I will just mirror 3D so just give mirror 3D mirror 3D select the revolved portion enter then just right click and say 3 point so at the middle around the middle plane I want to revolve so I will take this mid this mid so those 3, pain, uh, three points will define the plane I don't want to delete source so just say no so at the bottom also it is created if we now see it in 
conceptual visual style let's see how it looks so it is looking like this so I just have to sub uh, subtract these two revolved shapes only so I will just uh, subtract so first asking me select object so I have to click select this hexagonal object then enter then object to subtract so this revolved shapes I want to subtract so just select the revolved shape and press enter so those are revolved I don't want this hexagon so I will erase that so in this way on both side it has been created so at the center I want the hole so I will switch back to top view so just say view top UCS top and I will create circle at the center just create center at the circle up suppose I will create it so the shaft of 10 ok 10 radius 5 radius ok I will create a circle of 5 radius just undo circle at the center I will create a radius of 5 so this has been created then I will just press pull this press pull go inside the circle click zoom minus and go down and just click so the hole will be created just erase the internal line so in this way this nut is created just shift and drag the mouse shift press so in this way this nut is 3d nut is created so that's all. Thanks for joining. We'll stop here.